All right. So in last chapter, we saw how to use linear workflow before rendering. Now we are going to take a look look at how to create flowers, grass, you know, plants. So before I do that, I'm gonna set project, and I'm going to go in my project window, set it, and I'm going to save it. Uh, save as and I'm going to save by this name creating grass using wiser save as replace and before you do anything go to render settings and make sure you are using Maya software renderer also just change your resolution if you want I'm keeping it HD 720 and don't change anything else so close and Alright, so go to polygons and I'm going to create a plane. You know, simple plane. And go to window, general editors, and click on visor. Now, this is really interesting stuff. In visor, you can find paint effects, ocean example, fluid examples, and you know, a lot of fun stuff. Just go ahead and check it out, it is really interesting. Today we are going to concentrate on Pentifex only and in Pentifex we will find variety of fun stuff. So let me just show you. Go to fun mesh and I'm going to select this eyeball and once I select this paint stroke okay you will see your cursor has you know that it has con converted into this brush is pencil just press B and click and drag so that it can increase per brush size and if you click and drag see it gets created okay so that's how it works you just have to click and drag and you can create a brand stroke however you want okay it's really it's really interesting okay I'm going to delete it or undo it okay so let's create a grass so I have my visor on my shelf so just click and look for grass grasses and let's create a grass so I'm going to create maybe grass ornament okay so all you have to do is press B and while holding B click and drag so that you can control your brush size so I'm gonna keep it this big and just click and drag and there you go you got your grass okay I'm going to bookmark a camera and save this now I'm just going to take a render you can see we have around 7699 polygons so just render it out and this is what you get by default we are using Maya software we haven't applied any texture or anything we just looking at default render settings and we just rendered and it took about two seconds not more than that okay so now this grass doesn't really look realistic at all with these settings and we also don't have any realistic lighting in our scene so let's take a look at that so to see this grass uh, in mental ray render you know right now we are using my software first of all you know change this to mental ray and close and you can see there is nothing now why is that? Because we are using pent effect and if you go here and go to attributes you can see that it shows stroke shape grass ornament okay so it is basically paint okay and it is like stroke so if you go to outliner and if you take a look at it it has a curve you can see a curve here okay so this is a curve and a stroke so 
it is not a geometry like how we want and to render it in mental ray you need to have this particular grass as a mesh as a polygon as a geometry okay so we are gonna do that but before we do that let's take a look at what this grass is consists of or you know what this stroke is now first of all make sure click and go to attribute editor and click on grass ornament okay not on stroke shape grass ornament but grass ornament okay first thing you have to do is brush type is paint you have to change it to mesh you can increase your size from here see okay so I'm gonna keep it maybe 35 and in here in these options just go directly to the something called tubes okay click on it and in here go to creation and in creation we have to control these parameters okay now if you change this tubes per parameter uh, tubes per step excuse me it will increase and decrease density of the grass so now we have like 8.8.6 .8 if I decrease it to 4 you can see it has decreased density and if I increase 10 so it will increase okay I'm gonna keep 10 then to that segments now how many segments you want how smooth or let's say how how many polygons you will want in your grass okay basically the quality of grass so 9 is fine for now and you can increase so if I give 15 you can see we have so many polygons here you can also check your polygon count here 10 okay see so 9 is just fine we don't have to increase it because grass looks just fine so we don't need to increase it and in large scale scenes you don't really want to go more than 10 or 11 it depends you know totally if grass is so far from camera you don't even need 9 maybe you know 5 will do okay even 4 will do but it depends on you anyway I'll keep it 9 for now then we have length minimum max you can adjust grass size length you know everything I'm gonna keep default and then to width okay <coughs> so you can increase it decrease it <coughs> this stuff is actually self-explanatory so I'm not gonna go in detail how the, this works okay and you can also adjust width of your grass plates so if you go here and you know change it you can actually control how your grass looks you know so you know there are so many controls actually anyway so that's all we need to know for now and this one more option you can actually you know change direction of your grass so I'm gonna keep it maybe like this and pretty much default so I don't want to change it for now okay once you've done modifying your grass then go to stroke shape grass ornament and in here just go to mesh output and check this option output quads okay and now we are going to convert this grass into polygons alright so Make sure it is checked. So go to modify, convert, and in here you wanna click on this option. Pen effects to polygons. I'm gonna reset it. By default, you will sit like this. Okay. Make sure you quad check quad outputs. So output quads, quad outputs needs to be checked on both sides. Then height strokes, and then we have something called poly limit. Now you can see it has a poly limit 
now we have about what like 8800 something polygons and here we have polygon limit of 100,000 so once it gets converted we will have enough polys okay now how this works let me show you now we have 8000 polygons around about I think it's approximately 9000 and if I keep it 5000 only and if I convert you can see it only converts 5000 polygons okay and not more than that so make sure you have enough polygons in here so maybe I'm gonna keep let's say 50,000 so we have enough polygons okay and then convert it so we have enough polygons okay now once it's converted I'm going to go in render settings select mental ray and I'm going to render so you know it will render and you can see the graphs okay now let's add some light so indirect lighting and I'm gonna uncheck panel gathering for now and I'm going to create this so it will automatically check and I'm going to select my Sun increase its size and I'm gonna keep it like this should come from somewhere here on lower elevation and I'm going to render and by default it's not going to look pretty it's going to look really I don't know bad but we are gonna change that we are going to make it look nice and realistic so but for now in this chapter I think I just wanted to show you how you can convert your grass I mean uh, how you can select grass from your visor window okay then create a stroke as a pent effect and then convert it into polygons and then render it in mental ray okay in next chapter we will see how we can apply textures how we can make it look better and also how we can use ray tracing ray tracing reflections refractions and max resistive okay so all right so see you in the next chapter